we've been talking about the PPP loan. Welcome back to my channel guys. So we've been talking about the PPP loan and the PPP loan is a paycheck protection loan. And so this came out and originated when COVID disaster hit. So now a lot of people have been talking about it and discussing it because people are still being investigated and business are still getting in trouble for their actions related to fraudulent PPP loans. So if your business took out a PPP loan, you either have been uh, forgiven or your loan is not forgiven. So if your loan has been forgiven, then most likely you're good and they feel that they have nothing on you to incriminate you for PPP fraud. But there are people who, on the other hand, are being checked out and are being criminally charged for these PPP loans. So if your business is being investigated for PPP fraud, you probably, you know, are, are not knowing what to do, right? If anyone's business is being investigated. Many businesses, large and small, have already been caught in the crosshairs of PPP loan fraud, as we said, and are being investigated. So since the uh, Biden administration said that they plan to prosecute anyone who was part of the PPP loan fraud of the pandemic in with COVID-19. So they want to prosecute anyone who has been fraudulent and had fraudulent activity uh, to get those funds. So basically, some people did many different things to be on this list or to be on their target. So on their radar, people did different things. So we know this was a lifeline for many businesses. Um, some businesses actually really, really needed this PPP. And some didn't have businesses and some didn't need it. But they still went and got the PPP loan. So those are the people who they're going after. The ones who have fraudulently created these documents or what have you to go and get a PPP loan. So basically, if your business, now if you're a business owner or you know a business owner, if you're being investigated for a PPP loan fraud, you need to know they're sending out letters, they're sending out target letters to businesses that they expect has been fraudulent. So they're gathering information and when they gather enough information, then they're going to send you a target letter asking you questions. What they're doing, I mean telling you actually that you're a, a suspect and particularly your loan is fraudulent that they believe that. So they're conducting investigation, they're checking supporting documentation excuse me, documentation, loan application, and bank records. They also may interview you and your employees. Some people put that they have employees and they have none, but they may interview you and your employees and try to figure out how the funds was used. So people want to know what are they, how are they finding out this information? How are they finding out that these loans were fraudulent in the first place. They're doing lots of things. And it's not only one thing that they're looking for. Some people made false statements on the PPP loan application. Some people use the loan funds for different purposes other than those allowed by PPP guidelines. Some people falsified employee headcount or payroll experiences excuse me, expenses. Some people fail to maintain proper documentation. Some people apply for the PPP loan from different lenders, got multiple 
loans. Some people have full certification for loan forgiveness. So some people even had the certification that they got the loan and they never were even approved. So people came up with a lot of different things and a lot of different ways to scam and fraud the government and this PPP loan. So if these investigators find fraudulent information, then they're going to refer this case to the Department of Justice for prosecution. Depending on the severity of the fraud, because people did different things, you know, there could be severe penalties or there could be lesser um, penalties. So basically, you know, they're doing a lot of things to find out, um, you know, who they should target for the PPP loan. So basically, you know, if you are, then you have to protect your rights. If you are a person that's targeted and you need to uh, try to figure out, then you need to probably like seek an attorney um, to see if they can help you. But, you know, you, you're going to have to, you know, work with these investigators, excuse me, and cooperate uh, with them. And you don't want to destroy any evidence that can help you. Um, so, yeah, this is getting deep. So as a business owner, you know, hopefully I've even seen a situation where someone's name was used, but that individual and that individual did not even apply for a PPP loan. So somebody used uh, their identity and basically committed identity fraud to get a PPP loan in someone else's name. And that person had to uh, defend themselves. So people did a lot of things, but, you know, and use other people's name or maybe business name as well. Um, so... You know, if you feel that, you know, they're looking for people, just make sure you have all of your information together because um, this is what they're doing. And people, you know, are out there and, you know, confused if, you know, if they're actually going to be the ones that are going to be targeted. Um, because one more thing um, I want you guys to know is that some people loans have been forgiven and they're still being investigated so people have received forgiveness but there's something else that may have come up that is basically you know showing signs that the loan or the PPP uh, loan was not supposed to be giving in the first place so then it can't be forgiven so i'm gonna update you with more information because you know people are really um you know interested in this ppp loan and wondering you know it's years later and people are still being investigated and taken in so they've actually um continued to conduct these investigations so you know anybody um that's a business owner or a sole proprietor and you want uh, to know what's going on or you received a, a letter or you, you just want to keep updated on information, um, I'm going to have some information here and keep you updated, you know, as much as I can with the information that I am receiving. But, you know, comment on this video and let me know. Uh, what you know about the PPP loan. Also, like this video. And if you didn't subscribe yet, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. And I'll see you in the next video. <laughs>